I got this question from one of my students. The question was a very valid question. Uh, the question was, is 3 over 2, 3 over 2 times 1 over 2x plus 1 equal to 3 times 3 times 1 over 4x plus 2? Well, they are equal because if you factor the 2 out, this will become 3 over 2 times 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay. Now, if they are equal, now if you integrate this, so let's do, if you integrate 3 over 2 times 1 over 2x plus 1 dx, what would you get? You can factor the 3 over 2 out. So 3 over 2 times uh, integration of 1 over 2x plus 1 dx. Now, using inverse chain rule when integrating, so if you were differentiating 1 over 2x plus 1, you, you would have multiplied. So this, to different, uh, when you're integrating, you do the opposite of uh, chain rule. Instead of multiplying by 2, I'm going to multiply by half times uh, the integration of 1 over 2x plus 1 would be natural log of 2x plus 1 plus c. So the integration of this function is 3 quarters. So we can say, well, that is the integration of this is 3 quarters times natural log of 2x plus 1 plus c. Now a good uh, way to check your answer, whether you're, you're integrating it right, is to differentiate what you got and get back to the um, get back to the question. We start with three three halves times uh, one over two x plus one. So let's inti uh, differentiate it and check. So d by dx. So if you differentiate the answer, so differentiation of d by uh, three over four times natural log of two x plus one. plus c. So let's do in one step. So plus c plus c. Okay. So you can do it directly. So differentiating this function. So this will start with three quarters. And uh, that derivative, you uh, use the chain rule. So the differentiation of 2x plus 1 is times 2. And the derivative of natural log is 1 over 2x plus 1. And the derivative of constant is 0. So this ends up with 3 halves times 3 halves times 1 over 2x plus 1. So this is, so our integration was right. Okay, so you can have a smiley face. Yeah, so the integration is right because you you differentiated it and you got back to the question. Now the question was, if you differentiate this function, if you, in, sorry, if you integrate 3 times 1 over 4x plus 2, what would you get? Let's uh, integrate this, so you can factor the 3 out. So 3 times integration of 1 over 4x plus 2 dx. Okay, so this becomes, so this is 3 times, uh, applying the chain rule, it's 1 quarter times 1 over, uh, sorry, uh, the derivative of 1 over 4x plus 2 would be natural log of 4x plus 2, 4x plus 2 plus c. Okay, so this becomes, so this ends up with 3 quarters. So actually the question starts here. So what's the question? The question is, if this and this are the same, if, the question was like this, if this and this are same, the derivation 
sorry, the integration looks different. Okay, if you look at the uh, integration of this, you get 3 quarters natural log of 2x plus 1 plus c. And integration of this, which is same as this, you get 3 quarters natural log of 4x plus 2 plus c. Now, again, a good practice is to, if you differentiate this, what are you going to get? It looks different. They are different at this stage, but it's an arbitrary constant here. So let's differentiate this, okay, and see what happens. So that's a good check, okay, whenever you have this confusion, always uh, differentiate and check your answer. Let's differentiate. So d by dx of, no, before that, before we differentiate, let's simplify this a little. So this is equal to 3 quarters, 3 quarters times natural log of, can I write this 4x plus 2 as 2 times 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, uh, plus c. Okay, so you can keep the c out. Okay, now applying the log rule, natural log of, uh, x times y is natural log of x plus natural log of y. So we can say, well, this is 3 quarters times natural log of 2 plus natural log of 2x plus 1. Applying the log rule. I hope you know the log rule because natural log of 2 plus natural log of 2x plus 1 is natural log of 2 times 2x plus 1 plus c. Let's keep the c out. Okay, so this simplifies to 3 quarters, 3 quarters times natural log of 2 plus 3 quarters, 3 quarters times natural log of 2x plus 1 plus c. So this and this are one and the same. Okay, I hope you understand that. So now let's differentiate this function and see whether what are we get, going to get. So d by dx of this function, that is 3 quarters times natural log of 2 plus 3 quarters times natural log of 2x plus 1. I hope you see where am I going, plus c. Okay, so this differentiate what the derivative, this is a constant and this is also a constant. So what is the derivative of a constant? Well, that is zero. Plus the derivative of this would be using the chain rule. So this is three quarters times differentiating the inside, that is two times one over one over 1 over 2x plus 1 and the derivative uh, the derivative of constant is again 0. So what are we ending up with? You end up with the same function which is 3 halves times 1 over 2x plus 1. Okay, so this is what we started to 2x plus 1 here. Yeah? So though this looks different basically if you simplify this, and if you differentiate it, you end up with the original function, which is 3, quart, 3 halves times 1 over 4x plus 1 over 2x plus 1, or this is same as 3 times 1 over 4x plus 2. Hopefully, I have answered the question of Roshan, and he would be happy.